making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. Hey you guys, so today I'm going to be sticking with the Christmas holiday season with this cupcake, which is going to be a hot chocolate cupcake. I don't know about you guys, but I love hot chocolate in the winter time, pretty much any time of year actually. But I thought I would make it a little bit different. We're trying new things here. So what I am trying to create today is that I am actually making two different kinds of buttercream today. So I'm making a candy cane buttercream and a Swiss meringue buttercream, which fingers crossed it works out because I've tried to make a Swiss meringue before and it did not turn out well, which was really sad. So I'm actually also gonna be kind of making two different kinds of cupcakes as well. So when I was a kid, we always would get peppermint ice cream and we would put it in our hot chocolate. So I figured why not do that with the cupcake? So some of these cupcakes are going to have a candy cane buttercream on the inside of the cupcake. And then some of the other buttercreams are gonna be using the really trendy hot chocolate bombs. But I'm gonna be making mini ones cause they're cupcakes. And if I did the big ones, they would basically be as big as the cupcake and it probably wouldn't work out. But I'm also gonna put a hot chocolate bomb with candy cane buttercream in the middle of the cupcake. And then both cupcakes are gonna to be topped with the Swiss meringue frosting, which will hopefully just add a nice light, like fluffy, almost like marshmallowy type of flavor to it. Oh, and on the cupcakes that only got the typical candy cane buttercream center, those ones are gonna get a nice little hot chocolate bomb on top that have mini marshmallows on the inside. So fingers crossed, Kind of very ambitious today, but I'm hoping that it'll all work out. So stick around if you want to see how these cupcakes turn out. All right, you guys, it is time for us to make our balls, our hollow chocolate balls. So I've been watching several videos on this because I've never used molds for chocolate before. I haven't really used the mold for anything before. So the first step is basically tempering the chocolate, which I'm pretty sure I've done before. I just didn't really, didn't knowingly do it before. So I was watching a video and she basically said to shave small pieces of your chocolate. She used um, bark, but I couldn't find bark at the store. So I'm just going with a chocolate bar and this is a semi-sweet chocolate bar. When I was watching the video, I'll try to find it. I'll put a link below if you wanna watch it. Um, she gives lots of tips and she also talks about the science behind it. But she just shaved small chunks off the chocolate, put it in a bowl, then you put it in the microwave. You just have to make sure the temperature doesn't go above 90. And then that's basically it. And then we're gonna fill the molds and put them in the freezer and hope that they come out how we hope. All right, you guys, so we tempered our chocolate, I think. I honestly did not check the temperature because it was taking too long, but I still had some pieces not yet melted yet, which supposedly helps keep the structure of the chocolate and helps it temper. So I guess we'll see it. I put it in the mold. Fingers crossed it works. It was a lot more difficult putting the chocolate in the molds than I thought it was gonna be. Now, I don't know if it's just because they're really small, so it makes it a bit more challenging, but it was just hard getting it up on the sides, and I kind of noticed as I was putting it in the fridge that I didn't get them all thick, kind of towards the top, so I might do another second layer, or I might just call it good and hope that it turns out okay, which is probably what I'm gonna do, but I am going to let those sit in the freezer for a while, um, look at my recipes, and then we still need to make our candy cane buttercream for the middle slash in the middle of our hot cocoa bombs, and then also our Swiss meringue frosting. Okay, you guys, so we are gonna make our candy cane buttercream. We are gonna start by creaming our butter and then we will add in our powdered sugar and then our candy canes, which I'm also supposed to be putting peppermint extract in this, which I thought I had, but apparently I don't. So we're just gonna roll with the candy canes and call it good. Keep thinking that I could have 
done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all. We are at another moment of truth where I'm going to attempt to pop these guys out of the molds and I'm really nervous. I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. I'm really worried about cracking it because the sides were so thin, but supposedly the silicone is supposed to be super easy and it's supposed to just pop out, which it looks like we have. Woohoo! So I'm going to do this real fast. We'll speed it up for you guys. So it's not super boring but i need to do the candy cane buttercream which it got a little bit stiff while waiting for the swiss meringue so i need to whip that again as well add a little bit of milk to it and it'll be good to go and then i'm going to squeeze it into the center of some of these and some of these and then also squeeze it into the center of this baby so we're gonna do a little bit of both and call it a day Okay, so I have three more cupcakes here, and these ones are where the little hot cocoa bomb is gonna go in the middle. So I have to core out the middle enough so that the ball will actually fit in there. And then I'm kind of hoping I might be able to like cover it back up with a little bit of the cake, but we will see. These chocolate cupcakes are so soft, which is delicious, but much more difficult <laughs> to pour out. So let's see, put the little hot cocoa bomb in there. I was originally going to like fully put this guy on and in place, but I thought it might be better if it will slash just easier and less time consuming to not do that. Let's see, I think that's going to be weird. Yeah, it's not going to fit. So I might eat it, but I'm going to do these other three the same exact way. Oh my god, this cake is so good! A sunny day, but it's cold outside. It tingles in my heart. Breathing air that clears my mind. I'm all for a good start. Alright, you guys, it's about to be a moment of truth. Did it work? It definitely fluffed up fluffed up way more than when I tried this before. So here's to hoping that it keeps its peaks. Mm. A little bit, it's also a touch grainy, but I'm okay with it. I'm gonna run it for a little bit longer because I did stop it a bit earlier. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna talk really awkwardly over my mixer, but I am so excited that I think it turned out how it was supposed to. I need to turn the uh, speed up, but it held its peak, which is what we wanted. So fingers crossed that it all turns out okay. All the butter is incorporated, so now I just turn it on high for a couple minutes, and then it's good to go, I think. No. And that's why I wanna sing about the Christmas on it. Okay, so before I finish up with the Swiss meringue, I want to finish up my little hot cocoa bombs. So I'm gonna take a couple of empty ones, fill them with marshmallows, and then put the tops on top and fingers crossed that it'll actually work. So I've seen this done two different ways. One way where you melt extra chocolate and then you use that to kind of glue the two together. And a second one where you actually melt the chocolate on a hot pan and then you take the melted side and you put them together. So I'm gonna try that way first because I don't wanna have to clean another piping bag and put extra chocolate in and it's just too much a hassle. So hopefully 
this method will work. Okay, so I was worried about this. I can only fit one mini marshmallow inside because it's so small, but I still think it's cute. So we're gonna roll with it. All right, you guys, we finally have gotten our Swiss meringue buttercream to the correct consistency, I think. So it's time to frost the cupcakes and hopefully it'll turn out really good and delicious. Okay, you guys, we have our two cupcakes. This is the one that has the candy cane buttercream in the middle, and this is the one that has like a hot cocoa bomb with the um, peppermint buttercream in the middle. So these are how the two turned out. Now it's time to cut into them and let's see if they turned out how we hoped. All right, you guys, our hot chocolate bomb cupcakes are officially done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you for next week's creation. Bye.